Hey guys, how are you all? And welcome to your May 2023. I can't believe it's May. It's, this year is very, very up and down. It's crazy. It's great. It's soon we'll be heading into June and it's be half of the year over. But yes, but we are in May and I'm doing the tarot for all of the signs. So guys, May is going to be one busy month because... We have, what's the two things that are happening in May? Let's look at my trusty calendar. So the happy solar return for all the Tauruses, let's not forget. But with May, we have a, another eclipse, full moon, um, lunar eclipse in Scorpio, 14 degrees. We have a new moon in Taurus at 28 degrees. We have Venus going into Cancer. We have Mars going into Leo. Those of you who are having a Venus return in Cancer, a Mars return in Leo, happy happy return. But the big one after the after the lunar eclipse is Jupiter going into Taurus for until next year. So it's going to be one long year transit, and it's going to be no blocks. It's going to be like full blown uh, Jupiter in Taurus. But I will be doing a full video on that. So listen out for that, guys. I'll be touching upon it when I talk about the signs, but I'm not going to be doing full blown. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's a more or less it's a very busy month with the eclipse and with Jupiter going into Taurus. It's easing out of Aries. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not really <laughs> I'm not really fully enjoyed Jupiter in Aries. I don't know why. Uh, I thought that it would be great. Um, I don't know how it's been for you guys, but. It's just been a bit of a hit and miss for me. The same with Jupiter in Pisces. Maybe because of the Saturn, but I don't know. I That's that's how I feel. But um, there has been some great things that have happened with it. But I, I've, it's like I've sort of forgotten that Jupiter's been in Aries. But anyway. But yeah, we've got moons happening. But other than that, we've got the tarot talking. I've, I've got my oracle cards the ones that I have made myself. Um, and I keep saying that, guys, but I have to, you know, say, because some, some of you have asked where I get it from. I've actually made these oracle cards. So the first message from my oracle card is speak if you need to. <laughs> you know, that's the first message of May. Speak if you need to. Not only, guys, is we are in Taurus season. We are also entering uh, Gemini season. Yeah, the, those of, those of you who are born in May. So, but Taurus, even though it's a very grounded sign, it does actually it has a foot in mouth thing going on. Um, if it's if Tauruses are revved up, they can bam, you know, speak their truth. So. With this message saying speak if you need to, I feel a lot of us, you know, some of us have been very quiet this year. Um, even on social media, some of us have not really been able that we can show ourselves. So I feel that this month is like going to be like that time where you can actually show like a part of yourself, but also speak your truth or say what you need to say. There could be some stuff that's bubbling under the surface as well in May. And it's just time to let it out. Because if you don't say it, it's just going to be, you're going to be, it's going to be festering. It's going to be bubbling. Then it can explode. So, you know, the first message, speak if you need. Do it. Do what you need to do. Do it, you know, say what you need to say. Get it out of the way. The second card we have is fire up your passion so it can it, this month is very much an ambitious month okay and oh, oh, of course it could be because of the no because of the eclipse but it also could be because of jupiter but it could also be this thing of that you know you're rediscovering a passion inside of yourself you're rediscovering your passion you're rediscovering uh, like a burning urge and it's time to sort of like get that ball, ball rolling 
I mean, Saturn being in Pisces, even though it's still early, some of us are not really feeling it. I've, I've spoken about this on my on my solar eclipse video. It's it's restricting us in some way, it's restricting us emotionally, but it's also making us feel that even though we can be restricted in how we feel, when we do emote, it's going to be for the long haul. We are saying what we are feeling. The tide has changed. So we're going to be rediscovering ourselves. So firing up your passion is you're rediscovering a side that is burning. Okay, and it's time to fire it up. If you're thinking about something, if you are, you know, any anything, there could be elements of you thinking and not really sure or very in, in two minds, quite indecisive, being quite cautious. It's time to fight, find a way to fire it up. The second card we have is eat what you feel. Come on, this is Taurus season, guys. You know, I know we're going to go into Gemini season, but still this Taurus season, you know, from April to May. And eat what you feel. You know, Taurus is a very grounding, earthy sign. It's about the senses. It's about touch and feel. When they look at when they look at things, they have to imagine that it's good. When they even if they're looking at what they're looking at, clothes or makeup, if they're looking what they're looking to buy, they have it has to feel good. It has to look good. Remember, this is Venus, and even when it comes to food. If the I know because you know um my my daughter's Taurus so <laughs> you know she has to see if it looks good you know if you're giving her food it has to look good so you know they 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 stay that like they eat with their eyes basically so cook a nice meal even if it's decadent double chocolate you know chocolate's my thing guys but you know like double cream chocolate um imagine how you would like it to look and try make it and even it does have i don't know bloody five hundred thousand calories enjoy it that's why this card is saying eat what you feel because we are going to, i feel that a lot of us will be eating more i certainly am and i'm not going to feel guilty about it because this is what how i feel whenever taurus whenever it's taurus season my moon is Taurus, my Venus is Taurus, so I, I'm a very, per, I'm a person that likes comfort, I like food, and I like, yeah, I like looking good, you know, but I spend beyond my means, but I like, you know, when it comes to food, I need, the food needs to not only just look nice, first, obviously, it has to look nice, but taste even better, so... Eat what you feel, you know, whether you're getting new books through the library or searching online. Because, you know, the light online is our thing now. That's our library. But, like, if you're looking to, like, do new recipes, things that you've never even cooked before, guys. Um, even if you even if you feel you have to spend a bit more with, like, like a lobster. I'm actually feeling quite hungry speaking. But anyway, but that's something like lobster and something like that it doesn't you don't necessarily have to do it but you some of you may actually feel quite decadent this month i'm trying to say and you may want you some of you may actually spend a bit more on what you're eating um whether you're going to the restaurant or cooking for someone cooking for yourself cooking for your family you know it's and it's and it feels like i'm gonna eat this because it's how i feel yeah so that's why the card is like eat what you feel and really enjoy it remember food is not pleasure it's not pain it is pleasure it's a pleasure to eat okay um i live in england europe you know and when we eat here we eat we don't oh i can't eat this has got calorie eat you know if you thought you eat too much tomorrow just cut down that's how it is in this country you know so yeah eat how you feel i know i'm going off on food but you know and the last card we have is find a positive routine. And a positive routine is, because um, remember, these cards are not like your average oracle affirmation card. It's like a mixture of both. 
but I when I made them, I, I wanted them to be very grounding. Um, yeah, I wanted it to be very grounding. So when it says find the message of find a positive routine, find a routine that suits you. Again, we're in fixed energy time and it's not a time to, it's not, a, it's, it's in, in a way like you don't want to dilly dally. We also want to do something that suits you. We, we, we're going to also be pretty busy this month. Whether it's sorting out our finances, um, whether it's to do with our money, um, spending, buying, selling, um, cooking, eating, you know, our, what, how we look, our clothes. When we're wearing, also in Venus time as well. When I forgot to say that whenever we, the month changes, we have to always put the planets as well. So we're not going to move. We're not going to be moving as quick we come from Aries energy which is very mars very quick but now it's like okay i found what i've liked so i'm going to try and stick with it but it has it has to be something you like it has to be very positive so a routine could be anything um i do find during taurus season um like tauruses they're not ones to they're not like virgo when it comes to like health they're not anal they're more um they do it if they feel to but in a slow way so if you are starting up a new workout regime it could be like slow weight lifting slow jogging um walking but something healthy something grounding um some of you may decide that you want to like set your clothes out for the next day or you may want to like start packing food like you know like a pack lunch you may want to like set your table out you know, so in the morning you're not rushing. Everything's gonna be like sort of like a routine, in a in a way that is very easy. That's not too complicated. So it's gonna be a positive routine. So find any anything that you just want to set out, any goal as well. Just make sure it's positive and it just works for you, and so it doesn't like get you, you know, stressed or anything. So yeah, so that's the last card. Find a positive routine. So, guys, I hope you like these messages for me. And um, I feel that we should get to the tarot reading for all the signs. Hello, Aries, and welcome to your May 2023. So, Aries, you know, we are in eclipse. You know, we've had, like, your new moon in March, and we had another solar eclipse for you in April. And, you know, we're easing into, like, a... <laughs> You know the nose going into your sign, so I feel that you're you're still on a high from the eclipses that has happened. You know, um, this is all about your second house, which is a Taurus house. So you, even though you're still on a high, I feel a lot of you are this, 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 sort of like a a little mini groundedness, like you're getting back to basics, you're getting back to work, especially with the new moon being in your second house as well it's like okay i may have overspent i may have um not looked at my finances properly so now is that time to and also with the full moon in your eighth house as well this is like really getting down to business really structuring things sorting stuff out not dilly dallying in any way um no stone unturned any like fears or anything that needs to be paid debts loaned anything like that needs to be paid off you're going to be working hard at doing that and you know but it's a, it's a bit of a slower energy you know you've got mars which is in your sorry you've got venus which is in um cancer you know venus rules your second cancer is in your fourth so it's about you know it's about money but it's also about the home. So you could be investing in the home. You could be sprucing it up, spending more time at home, spending more time with your family, with your friends as well. And, you know, really enjoying life at home. Could be You, you could be taking on the mother or the father, big time role of like cooking, making sure like if you've got kids, making sure that things are on point, like their homework, um, you know, just sorting stuff out. You know, like, I'm going to be taking the reins. And when Mars goes into Leo, because you're ruled by Mars, and it goes into Leo, which is your fifth, it's like, okay, 
and also on that day we're easing into um the sun in your third in gemini so it's like okay bam okay i've done all that i've done all the family thing i've done all like the sorting out of the money and the you know the home life but now it's time to like get my get what i need to get out there so you could be really fired up you could be really um there's stuff that you probably worked on you know while you was in the i was gonna say the safe confinement it probably could be but it's like okay um i, I actually want to pursue this i actually want to do this i actually want to create I actually there could be conversations about your children your children who coming to you and saying they want to do this sport or that or even you yourself will be participating in some type of creativity um this is great for doing you could say gambling but like speculative which is um in a way gambling you know you could be actually feeling quite lucky but also you could be really um your confidence could be really high and a lot of inspiration could come when we got jupiter it's in your second house you know jupiter's leaving your house some of you could have like this sigh of relief, but some of you could be thinking, you know what? Um, I'm actually quite sad it's leaving, you know, some anything like that. But it's in your second, so it could be an expansion of money. You know, Jupiter rules your 12th house and also rules your 9th house. So this could be seen, some of you, you know, you know, expanding money abroad or you could be investing in like a course. You know, like a high learning course, you can invest in someone that could teach you. Like you could be doing like a new course that you have to spend money. And it could be about languages. It could be to do with like the law. Some of you could be deciding if you're writers that you want to do some self and, you know, you want to work right for yourself and you have to promote your work. Anything like that. So when it comes to your tarot card, you have the six of wands which is a Mars in Leo card, actually. And it's, this is showing me that this month, even though it's a bit of, it's a, bit of a calm, calmer time, you're going to gain a lot of support when it comes to, like, money, you know, your finances. I feel that, you know, if you have to pay off anything or if you, anything that you have to, anything concerning money, whether it's paying off or you're getting back, if you want to invest, you can get a lot of support. There'll be people that will back you. I feel, I feel your confidence is going to be very high. It's going to be very, like, very, very much revved up. And also, um, there could be some good news coming as well. It could be anything, you know. It could be, like, you've invested in something and you're getting a lot back. Or, you know, something to do with, like, your family, even your health, your health, your wealth, anything like that. But know that even if there's some niggles, or upset along the way things will work out okay so let me know how it goes Aries hello Taurus how are you happy solar return to the May Tauruses so Taurus this month we have this new moon which is in your sign so if you're 28 degrees Taurus this will affect you will affect all Tauruses anyway um and you've got this solar eclipse which is in your seventh house so this is about, you know, your relationship. So there's a lot coming. I'll speak about it more in depth when it happens. There's a lot happening when it comes to your relationships, how you're viewing it, business, contracts, lots of personal things. You've got Venus, which you're ruled by, is in Cancer. So this is in your third. So I feel some of you may, you know, this is a time where a lot of you may be making friends with people. You could get gains, whether you're doing like a new project. I feel a lot of you may want to like learn, expand your mind. Um, you may Some of you may decide that you want to really put pen to paper and start writing. Whether it's a blog. Because I'm seeing a lot of Tauruses starting to like slowly, but like starting to get their voices out there. Um, a lot of this stuff could really touch people as well, could really touch their heart so if you've got something on that you're thinking about Taurus is really do it you've got Mars which is in Leo which is in your fourth house Mars rules your yes Mars rules 
your uh, 12th house and it also rules your 7th so even though it's in your 4th there could be I'm not saying it will but there could there might be some drama at home because you may want your home or you there might be things that need to be done in the home that you want done now you could find yourself quite fired up and really passionate about this needs to be done which can cause some upsets in your relationship or, you know, um, there could be some stuff that's bubbling under the surface that you may not know about. So there's a lot going on at home when this happens. But nevertheless, you'll fix it, Taurus, because this is what you do. Um, you have Jupiter, big one, going into your sign. It's a big month for you, Taurus. You know, Jupiter rules your 11th and it also rules your 8th house. So there could definitely be some stuff coming up with money and friends you know these things do not work together so when i do a full video you know <laughs> I, I will talk a little bit more in depth about that but yes it's a big one it's happening for a full year i think it's until next year may um or even july so it's a long one you know so um you're going to be in the spotlight yeah because pluto is in your tenth as well so you're hot and heavy but when we come to your card taurus you've got temperance so temperance is saying that this is your month so you're going to be shining especially because jupiter's there and you've got the new moon there and you've got the you know the lunar eclipse in your seventh so you're going to be shining there could be a lot of people and opportunities that come very fast very thick and fast for you taurus and in the beginning it may not feel like it's anything but um because you may have been applying for something whether it's a new job or you know, um, something's been slow, whether it's money. Um, you may have put certain things into plans and actions and it nothing's really like taken off. But any of these things happen, whether it's the, the, the moons or Jupiter, that's when things just bam, start taking off. And you, some of you Tauruses could really surprise yourself and just run with it. The Temperance is about, you know, moderation. Don't do too far. It's a Sagittarius card. Sagittarius rules your eighth so you could be like very like sort of there could be like a possessiveness of you towards like yeah i'm gonna do this i i waited for this to happen it's now happened and this and this and this you could find yourself being really sort of like gung-ho in you know taking these opportunities and not wanting to miss anything slow down especially because jupiter's in your first slow down it's not gonna go i think once you find what the right thing is, or the most important thing, especially when opportunities are presented to you, because um, Jupiter being in your sign is not easy because your sign that's very grounded and Jupiter's very, you know, it's a fire sign. It's uh, it's bam, 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 but it's very. So you, some of you may actually enjoy the ride, but some of you may be thinking, okay, this is just too much. It's about moderation. Really take your time um again i feel that a lot can come at once some of the things you've wished for so just like sort of like take time ground yourself and just you know whether you're asking your partner you know taking things in slowly and think okay i'm going to do this project then after that i'm going to do this and you, you're very good at that tour that's why you're very people always like to you to be around so take your time but the temperance card is very much saying that good things like Aries good things are really coming for you but you just have to pace yourself because you don't want to just burn yourself out in your birthday month hello Gemini so happy solar return to anyone who is May Gemini welcome to your May tarot and horoscope so we have a um we have a full we have a new moon in Taurus which is in your 12th and we have the full moon in Scorpio which is in your 6th so you're that the mental health, the spiritual and emotional health is playing big time with a lot of you, um, Gemini's. And, you know, you probably tell me you're thinking, no, not again. Don't worry, the tide will change. It's just that you just a lot of inner work needs to be done. Spiritual, emotional, a lot of that needs to be done. We also have Venus in Cancer, which is in your second you know, Venus rules your 12th and you've got this energy which is in your second. So this is like secret money. You could be coming through or working on. This also could be you like working on certain like secret projects or 
things to do with like your self worth, but it could be very secret. Yeah, I, I want you know, feel free to let me know if you want to let me know, Gemini, but still, um, but yeah, with it being in Cancer, some of you could be holding on to money too tight, some of you could be um wanting to invest in certain projects do like home or even types of businesses or you could just be really cautious about this mars is in in leo which goes into your third and i feel a lot again a lot of you are very relieved because it's out of your sign <laughs> yeah it's out of your signs in your third so a lot of you could be very fired up this could cause some drama with um, work colleagues it could cause drama with you know, people in your neighborhood or your um, siblings yes there could be some drama or you could be just like diffusing certain things very quickly mars rules your 11th so this could be friends too yeah or there could be lots of initiation of projects being started you know you in surround yourself with certain people that are very ambitious you have jupiter in your 12th which is um, a time where some of you may not feel that you're as lucky. But Jupiter in your 12th is asking you to, you know, relax when it comes to, like, your ambitions. Um, you may, f some of you may not feel that you're very, you know, your energy is very high. Because Jupiter also is your 7th, which is to do with like, your relationships. So, you know, you may, there may be stuff that comes up within relationships that you guys may need to really think about on a deeper level. I'll be doing a full video on that. When it comes to your card, you have eight of pentacles. So even though this is in your, this is a second house. So this is, a, sorry, I've got to say it's 12th house action for you guys anyway. And... It's a, it's a, whenever the 12th house happens, a lot of you, um, Gemini's, I feel some of you may feel quite, some of you might feel quite anxious, but some of you may feel, oh God, I just want to just get out there and your time is coming. But the eight of pentacles is saying that, you know, a lot of you guys are going to be do, uh, are going to be asked or even willing to like do some work behind the scenes or do some work at home. Um, there's a lot of work that obviously needs to be done, especially on an emotional, spiritual level, a lot of letting go. And you guys may be quite reluctant to um, do all of that slower paced work. So um, if there's something that you need to get out into the open, this is a time to really work on it. Um, this is a time that, you know, this is actually a great time to be trying to relax and taking it easy. But I feel that this card is also asking just to listen to your body, listen to what's going on within your mind. This is also a Virgo card. Um, your mind could be, you feel your mind's actually playing tricks on you, but it's just like, you know, it's time to relax. If you, if you find that you're getting really amped and very, you have to do something, you have to do something. Really, you know, go out there, take some walks, you know, because um, there, there, there could be also a sense of boredom that's coming up. With Taurus ruling your um 12th house it's like you have to always do something and sometimes you just don't so i feel that some of you may have to work hard in just relaxing because this is a card of the apprentice so sometimes it's like working hard at just you know letting go and relaxing and seeing what comes so yeah lots of deep breaths this month gemini hello cancer and how are you a lot of this energy is in your 11th house. I feel a lot of you are thinking, hallelujah. Um, because, you know, your 10th, you know, in eerie season, very busy time when it came to your career. There could have been a lot of ups and downs and misunderstandings, but still you were shining. But this is in your 11th house of your goals, dreams and ambitions and aims. So you have this new moon, which is in your 11th house um in taurus and you also got jupiter which is in your 11th so with the new moon because you're ruled by the moon and it's in your um 11th house you might might, might want to be connecting more with friends connecting more to like your projects your goals and your dreams you have a full moon in scorpio which will definitely affect you because if you are 16 14 degrees of um scorpio this will you know it's about your fifth house 
so there could be themes that come up like creative projects you know fitness like learn even like learning new skills it could be um you know investing in things anything creative about having fun with your partner or even dating uh we have venus going into your sign on the 7th so you know you've got mars there as well so you're like okay th there might be some craziness going on but still you know i can sort of like kick back and relax i can chill with my friends i can you know start working on like certain projects or you know there could be people that come to your aid and actually help you you could get a lot of gains you know, a lot of gains can be definitely made during this time. Uh, we also have Mars in Leo, which is in your second house. So a lot of you, you know, because Mars, um, which was in your house, uh, it made some of you feel quite uncomfortable. But now it's in your second. It's like, okay, because Mars rules your career. It's like, okay, I'm going to go and get my money. I'm going to go, um, you might be feeling quite ambitious, you know, some of you could be feeling very, because Mars rules your 10th, and it also rules your 5th, so it's like, you may, you may be, some of you may have not been feeling as confident when it was in your, in your sign, some of you probably did, but some of you may feel more confident now, like, I'm going to go for what I want in my career, I see, if I do this, I can have a better future, for myself and my family it's about investing it's about really listening to your intuition it's about your self-worth it's about knowing your worth so you some of you may not be um maybe wanting to like ask for that raise or if you don't get that raise you may work for yourself you may be thinking you know what i'm just going to do this job because i'm i've got other goals that i'm going to be you know investing in um again we've got jupiter which is in your 11th jupiter rules your sixth and it also rules your ninth so this is going to be about your health it's also going to be about your routines it's also going to be about higher learning as well as your you know your creative creativity but also your goals and your dreams there's a lot going on when jupiter goes into your 11th but i'll be doing a full video but when you talk about your card of this month it's about strength card so it's a leo card yeah leo, leo, leo rules your second so I feel some of you cancers, you know, when it said, whenever I see the strength card, I always think of like weights. Because <laughs> um, I know that Leo, Saggy and Aries, they're all about, you know, not all the time, but it's a, it's a, it's a sign that like to do like fitness. So some of you may be guided to like, I'm going to start like a fitness regime. I'm going to, you know, start doing strength training, you know, take it slow if you are. But some of you may be guided to like start doing strength training. But also this card is saying that, you know, you got it in the bag. It's like anything you sort of want, you can get. As long as you um, believe in yourself. Remember, you're cardinal. Um, I feel that this, there can be some, um, there could be like friends coming back. I'm feeling this month for a lot of you. A lot of friends coming back. And I feel that you're going to have like really deep and honest discussions about whether what went wrong or, you know, um, also... This card is saying you've got the strength to do anything you want when it comes to your, what's it called, your um, your goals and your dreams. Because some of you have let it go by the wayside. Some of you have concentrated on the wrong thing. And this and there's something that you really had to work out in your personal life. And this, this is saying that you need to get back on track, you know, because you can do it. Sometimes we need to see things through our mind's eye cancer. To see like where our future could be if we just sort of more or less get on with it. So a lot of energy that's happening this month, Cancer. Again, you know, I feel that you, a lot of you can find a lot of endless possibilities and opportunities. And yeah, I don't feel that staying on the right track will be hard as well. But if you do veer off, get back on there. Hello, Leo. How are you? So this month is all about your career, your status um there could be changes some of you that father figures promotions um yeah you, you guys you got the time of shining because you've got the new moon if you're like 28 degrees of leo you're going to be feeling this 
um but yeah this is about your career so there could be a brand new beginnings that could be happening um some of you could be like getting like new jobs starting your own business or company you also have this full moon which is in your fourth house so they, it's a lunar eclipse or something is going to be leaving or something that's initiated that needs to go from your family life and it could be anything you know you could be moving home you could be sprucing up your home you could be redecorating you know there could be a multitude of things that's going to be happening there could be secrets that come out as well we have venus in cancer which is in your 12th house so you are you know remember venus is going to be in your sign it's going to be retrograde it's going to be a big one so before all that happened, it's time to sort of like, you know, take a breath, you know, relax. I feel a lot of you Leos will not find it hard not to relax as well because a lot of you Leos love relaxing, which is actually a good thing because that's where you get your strength from. So it's a time of relaxing, but you could be doing certain things behind the scenes, like certain projects, secret projects, passion projects that you don't want to let the world know him. You know, Venus rules your 10th anyway, so this is definitely concerned with your career, your goals. So anything you're going to be working on, this is about your visioning for your future. Um, You've got Mars in your sign. So once again, you're going to be shining, shining that light. Mars rules your ninth. So a lot of you could be doing, um, be revved up, prepared, excited about a new course of study traveling worldwide um or uh, surround yourself with different types of groups and organizations and people from different cultures is a time where some of you may decide that you want to you know improve yourself in some way and you've got jupiter also in your 10th and jupiter rules your fifth and it also rules your eighth so this can show where like creativity is going to be highlighted because you're ruled by the fifth it's also about your finances, you know, joint finances. So I feel a lot of you may be investing more in your creativity so it can benefit you and your partner's finances in some way, um, especially if you've got any debts or loans or, you know, anything like that. But the card you have for this month is the Ten of Wands. So even though you guys are going to be shining because the tenth is the tenth house this month, you also got Mars in your sign. There's still like a lot of work that a lot of you will be needing to do. Some of you Leos, I feel, um, in a way, feel that there's nothing wrong in it. I feel it's great that, oh, I don't need to do it because it will just work out. Or I just leave it for another day. Or, you know, someone else can do it. And I'll pay them more or something like that. But the Ten of Wands is like a very karmatic card. It's a Sagittarius card. But it's also a card. It's, it's Saturn in Sagittarius. It's also a card of like, you know, you get what you put out. So if you put the work in, then you can get. So I feel that, you know, there could be. And even though this, this is a squaring month. So you guys, although you're going to be shining, there's going to be a lot of pressure that could be put on you. And the more you put it off, the more work you're going to have to get. So if you feel that you're not happy within your job or your career and you're putting and you and you're putting a lot of work in something needs to change or if you're not putting the work in and you want to get the rewards then again something is going to be changing so it's about looking again looking at you know your future where your future goals lie how you see yourself leo especially before venus goes you've got mars being in your sign as well and you've got this 10th house action happening and some of you, Leo, especially you quiet ones, may not really mind that you've got a lot of pressure on you. But is it making you happy? This card is also about um, doing all the work by yourself and not really getting the rewards as well. But again, I feel that happiness needs to come first as well. So really look at that. But also, um, if there's stuff that needs to be done, Leo, you know, just do it. You don't want things piling up on you but again i feel that again i do feel there can be some gains that can definitely be made like promotions and you know um things that you're going to be initiating and changing but all in all it is very much a hard working month 
Hello Virgo, so how are you? So Virgo, this month I feel some of you may feel quite relieved because not only is um that this is a ninth house month for you, this is also you've got Jupiter and you've got the new moon all in your ninth house. So you're coming out of and you're coming out of this sort of like sort of like stagnation, darkness, also of transformation. And you're like sort of seeing the light, you're seeing your future. This is a this is a time where a lot of you will be changing up your goal set, changing up, you know, your it could be your taste buds, but it could also be who you surround yourself with. Higher learning time. Um, especially the new moon there, you know, some of you Virgos may decide you want to move to another country because you want to learn about different creeds and cultures. Some of you also may decide that you want to um, be professors or work in the law or publishing. Um, the new moon is in your third house, um, the full moon. So there's something that's going to be said and done. There's going to be something to do with your immediate environment, your, you know, your siblings or even your neighbours. Something you're going to write as well. Uh, we have Venus in cancer which is in your 11th house and venus rules your ninth so a lot of you could see a lot of virgos um you could be making friends with people from different cultures um but they'll definitely be aligned with you as well they could be very sensitive they could be very cancerian um a lot of you could also find love in a friendship or a group okay if you're single if you're single and yeah and this is a time of being very creative very very creative could be definitely creative within a group not in that way but you know i mean and um, mars is in leo which is in your 12th house so you'll be your energy wise may not be very high it's like okay i'm gonna do what i can but i'm just gonna be taking rest if i remember to if i'm not really busy you know, Mars rules your um, third house and it also rules your eighth house. So we could see a lot of this maybe to do with finances in some way. You could be sorting certain stuff out. You could be very gung-ho, very obsessed with certain things that also need to be said and done. And we've got Jupiter in your 11th. You know, Jupiter rules your 7th. It also rules your 4th. So these are the themes that could be coming up, you know, your relationships and your home and family life. But I'll be doing a full video on that. So when we come to your card, you've got the King of Wands. Uh, a lot of you are feeling very energetic. I feel a lot of you are feeling like, okay, um, a lot of, I think a lot of Virgos made a lot of plans, strategic plans. And some of it may not have some of it may have veered off maybe because you weren't feeling it your energy you know life just got into the way but now it's like right let's do this king of wands is a great card it's a leo card even though leo rules your 12th house still it's it gives you energy it's like your 12th house it gives you um you know it's like if you feel that you can do whatever you want when you're by yourself you feel like like you could sort of like be seen when you're by yourself in a strange way but also you can take charge like okay this is what i want to do so i feel that a lot of you may feel confident by yourself and the king of wands is like go for it you know the confidence is there confidence is high it's almost saying like you know there's certain things you're just envisioning now manifestation is very high virgos extremely high and if you want to learn something, even if something you never even want, even thought of doing, go for it. If you um, surround yourself with certain people, they could be loud, proud, and you, but you just like them, go for it. Even how you dress, go for it. A lot of it is like, go for it, just do it. You know, even deep down, you might feel a bit embarrassed, but insecure. It's just like on the outside, how you're projecting yourself is just go for it. So it's actually a really great card. This, some of you may even have Leos that come into your life that can actually help you as well. They could be in your friendship circle. They could be new friends. Um, this could also happen when Jupiter is in your is in your life as well. But still, it's like the possibilities and opportunities are really endless this month. So 
this is a your your sign that likes to write so it's really great to be writing down your goals and aims this month especially when jupiter goes into your night because it can last for the whole year hello libra how are you so a lot of this energy is in your eighth house which is to do with your um this may uh, you may feel a bit you know want to relax kick back you know before you know goes into your ninth this is to do with your finances transformation any fears that come up um some of you could get money or you know your partner could be coming into money which could really transform your finances you have a full moon which is in your 12th house in scorpio lunar eclipse so there's a lot that's going to be you know um going on uh, especially emotionally sorry in your second house so this is to do with your finances and your money you know there could be again i feel that some libras can really come into money some libras can lose money and it really does depend on what's going on in your sign but yes the second house is about self-worth it's a taurus house um, I feel some of you may even get really gung-ho and just sort, you know, invest. Or some of you may decide that, no, 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 we may not be doing that. We have Venus in Cancer. And you're ruled by Venus, which is in your 10th house. So some of you could actually work in the beauty industry or start doing your own type of business within the, something to do with beauty or um, interior design, you know, illustration, um a lot of you may decide you actually want to work from home working from home is actually more appealing than ever um venus because you're ruled by it you could find if you're single if you're single you could you know um you could be attracting people or that you could be attracted to someone um it's really endless um venus um you've got mars in leo which is in your 11th mars rules your 7th and it also rules your second so this anything to do with finances but within your partnership could be coming up it could be drama there like your partner could be spending too much or you could be spending too much and it's like we need to keep our finances in order type of thing lots of conversations lots of makeups or even breakups but also lots of love as well but also it's to do with your 11th so about lending friends money this could be very tricky. You've got Jupiter in your eighth, which is about the same thing. Money, shared resources. I'll be doing a full video on this. So it's going to be a big one because, you know, I feel, yes, it will affect you in a way. But Taurus Queen Cox is you, so it doesn't really have anything in common. But the fact you've got Venus, there's going to be a big change when it comes to your finances. And things to do with like conception and you know transformation but when we come to your cards you've got the queen of cups so it's a bit of a slow one for you librans but it's going to be very deep and very emotional coming into contact with your emotions is going to be playing a big important this is a cancer card and cancer rules your tenth so i feel that you i feel when you step into work there's gonna be a lot of energies you're gonna be feeling um, some of these energies you may not like, but some of these energies you may. I feel if you're going to be investing this month, if you've got the funds, of course, you're going to be really listening to your intuition. Because the Queen of Cups is about intuition. It's about, you know, listening, getting in touch with that feminine side. I feel also with you Librans, there may be more conversations, deeper conversations with your partner. And it could be about past things, past hurts, or you yourself could be opening up more about things that happened when you were younger, or you know, um, if you when you got hurt in a relationship, or think something to do with like your parents. It could be more of a, but it's going to be transforming you in a way that you never envisioned. This is a very cleansing month for a lot of you. Some of you could also be very open. I feel with the Queen of Cups saying some of you could be very open to um the not only just the feminine side but this like this deeper side whether it's to do with astrology or tarot but also the um some of you could be the darker side of life you know don't be surprised if you start watching more darker things this month 
don't be surprised but also um i feel that when you are with family this month if you are getting together with like close relatives or even like in your relationship or even like you know family in general that you know conversations turn a bit very much more emotional and you may be at the forefront of opening up so everyone else opens up very much a transformation month for you librans and um you won't look at this month different you know you'll look at it very different especially with jupiter being there as well hello scorpio how are you so scorpio big month because like Taurus is, you guys are going to be shining too. This is in your seventh house of your relationships, business, contracts, partnerships. And it's a Venus time for you. So, of course, some of you may be, you know, want to be spending more time with your partner, taking things a little bit slow. But still, we have this eclipse that's happening in your sign. Now, you lot are wrapping up a lot of stuff. You know, you and Scorpio, you and Taurus. And this is a lunar eclipse, so something's going to be purged out. You know, who knows what it is. I'll do a full video on this. You also got this new moon, which is in your seventh. So this is something brand new that's happening within your relationships, business or personal. Uh, we have Venus in Cancer, which is in your night. Venus rules your seventh, and it also rules your twelfth. So this could be something like a hidden project or... This could also be something you could do with a partner. Some of you are single. You could meet someone at a convention or in like a spiritual group or in a hospital, anything like that. Um, but also some of you could be doing some unconventional stuff or certain things that, um, that are connected to like family and home that could really benefit you in some way. We've got Mars in Leo, which is in your 10th house. Mars, you're ruled by Mars, and Mars also rules your six. So this could be seen a lot of you, Scorpions, very, again, my favourite word, gong-ho in your career. Very ambitious, very organised, very diligent. Really, you know, a lot of you, especially with the, the new moons, the solar eclipse is in your sixth house of, like, health. A lot of you are getting really fit. And, you know, when you're fit and healthy, it makes a goody good impression. So I feel that a lot of you are feeling great. So if you're looking for a new job, you're starting something, you're at your peak. You're at your best now. Um, yeah. So, yeah, a lot of you, again, definitely will be seen because, you know, you're, you're fired up. You're ready to go. Or this could be you guys doing something within your partnership as well. You've got Jupiter, which is in your seventh for the next year. And... This is going to be speaking a lot to your relationship. It could be expansion relationship. Something brand new could happen. Um, there could be changes happening, good or bad. So you, you could be traveling. You know, Jupiter rules your fifth. And it also rules twelfth. You know, your second. So this could be seeing some of you, you know, getting money. You know, making more money because of something creative you're doing. Or something to do with like a family business. Or something that. You know, you've put the back burner, you're now getting it out. Or, you know, it could be to do with your children as well. So I'll do a full video again. But when it comes to your card, you have the Nine of Cups. Brilliant card. Brilliant card. It's a, it's a, it's a Jupiter and Pisces card, which rules your fifth. So, and you've got Saturn in your fifth. So some of you may not be feeling like your luck is great, but this is actually a wishing card. So even though this is in your seventh house, you've got eclipses there, you've got Jupiter in your seventh. Um, this card is saying that, possibly, again, possibilities are really endless. Like if you're wishing for your relationship to go to like the next level, you're wishing for something to change, but you don't know how to make that change. Or, you know, you want to travel, you want to like study, do a new course. Um, or if you're single, you want to find love, wish on it, but really believe it because some of you, you know, you're opposites Taurus and some of you Scorpions could really doubt it could happen because it's a cautiousness, but it's sort of like, oh, I, I don't see it. So it's not going to happen. Really believe in it. You're one of the second psychic signs of the Zodiac after Pisces. So you're all about transformation. 
I feel that if you are seeking transformation in your relationships as well, I feel that this could happen as well. Um, a lot of you are resisting change. I feel a lot of you are definitely resisting change. Um, that's maybe because of like insecurities, maybe from the past or something happening, you know, when you're younger that you didn't want to, you know, but this card is saying, you know, wish upon a star, you know, there's changes that are going to be happening in your relationships. There's also changes that are happening within you, you know, um, your fixed sign, you know, it's when you're fixed, you know, there's nothing you can do about that. But I think if you're wanting certain changes within your life and your career and your family, your love life, or even, you know, anything, these possibilities again are endless so really believe in it scorpio and even if things are not really feeling great for you it's really great to like write in manifestation cards because you know relationships are very important to you hello sagittarius and welcome to your may 2023 horoscope and tarot where a lot of this energy is in your sixth house of health wellness routines daily routines pets and your work life so we have it's a busy month for you getting back to work getting back to basics you have a full moon <clears throat> in scorpio which is in your 12th house and this is a time that, you know, about letting go, relaxing, dreams are going to be very high, very potent. There could be, these things can be very intense. Even when you're doing your, your releasing work, it can be extremely intense. But nevertheless, energy-wise may not be so high. You have this new moon, which is in your sixth house. So this is a great time to be planning a new routine um planning and something new in your job working with different colleagues even getting like a new pet this is a great time for it but also getting back to basics we have venus in cancer which is in your eighth house so uh big time again finances galore shared resources galore venus rules your Venus actually rules your six anyway, you know, so it's, <clears throat> it's not, um, again, there's a lot of, there's a lot of concentration time, a lot of time that you're going to be, it also rules your 11th, so this is to do with friends as well, so there could be something to do with friends, any of you are single, this is where you can meet someone, if you could even meet someone at work, a great time if you're very if you're a creative person you could be doing something on the internet the computer anything to do with writing anything to do with like the health industry as well mars is in leo yay and you're going to benefit from this this is where your energy comes mars is in your ninth house which is your house so you <clears throat> mars rules your fifth and it also rules your 12th house so um there could be some longings and urgings and leanings to be doing something very creative um something higher because you're ruled by the night something to do with a different creed or culture um you'll be guided to be getting something published or um working within the law or courts you know you could be changing something I, I say something a lot, I, I, I think you guys noticed. But yeah, there's a lot of changes that are happening, especially with Mars in your ninth. And also, we have the Jupiter in Taurus in your sixth. So this is like work. This is a this can feel very much a hard-working month for you. So when we come to your card, you've got the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles is a Capricorn card, very much about, you know finances work um i feel that you guys some of you capricorn with very very serious time like no stone unturned we can see a different side of capricorns you guys are going to be getting down to business sorting out any if you've got mountains of paperwork this is a time to be sorting it out you know don't be afraid to ask for help 
as well because two heads again are better than one <clears throat> this someone could be a capricorn um if you're looking to like restructure yourself restructure your life in any way you know restructure like your your diet your fitness routine getting back to basics in any way this card is very much about a grounding card yes it is about money so i feel that of, of course money is going to be playing a big deal this month but also not cutting any corners it feels very much a serious time for a lot of you capricorn um sagittarius so yeah um i wouldn't be surprised if we didn't see some of you sagittarius sagittarius wanting to just be alone because there's so much you have to do there's so much things to do there's so much things that need restructuring there's so much work you know you, you could, there could there's also a lot of work that you guys may may be doing <clears throat> some of you may even work in like the banking system as well so it's like counting money making sure money's in the right place the right time uh yeah just just a busy time it can feel very boring but i feel that once it's done capricorn i'm sagittarius you can relax so yeah you're really getting your head down to business this month hello capricorns how are you <clears throat> so this is a good month for you because it's in your fifth house a lot of energy there we have a new moon on this may sorry happy, welcome to your may <clears throat> horoscope and your tarot so energies in the fifth you have you know the full moon in scorpio in your 11th so this is to do with your goals your friends gains so there could be something that's leaving your life whether it's a friend or like an old dream you could be releasing something there um the new moon which is in your fifth if you're 28 degrees capricorn you're really going to feel this brand new time for creativity brand new time for fitness brand new time for money investing speculative investing should we say brand new time for themes to do with children whether it's your own or even you're thinking of planning to have children or especially fun having fun letting your hair loose dressing differently and just you know having fun <clears throat> we have venus in cancer in your seventh and venus rules your fifth and it also rules your tenth and this is to do with your relationships so these are the big themes that come up you know this is to do with your relationships so you could be definitely having a bit more fun in your relationship you could be going to the next level um this could change like your status in your job there could be definitely changes again if any of you are single you could meet someone in your workplace it could be a boss or it just could be an employee you know these things can happen but um all in all because it's about your relationships there could be um a proposal of marriage or you know you may be moving somewhere or even if your job changes if you're doing something if you're, you might be doing something more light a bit more creative it can really enhance your relationship and the, um we've got mars in leo which is in your eighth mars rules your fourth and it also rules your eleventh so <clears throat> money 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 joint finances resources transformation any fears that could be coming up um there could be some drama when it comes to your finances like you didn't know you owed money there could be a new bill debt coming that you need to pay off <laughs> all types of drama um there could be drama with your friends as well they might owe you money like ah you know a lot of that could be coming up you know friends and money is really straight really difficult or it could be something that to do with the home something that needs to be paid bills need to be paid and it could be really much a lot for you and the big one jupiter in your fifth i'm gonna do a full video capricorn so listen out for that great time to be you know it's expansion of creativity expansion of family expansion could be wealth um a very exciting time very very exciting time cautious but very exciting so when we come to your card, Capricorn, you have the Wheel of Fortune. So changes are abode, changes are coming, whether you want them to happen or not. 
because it's in your fifth house there could be lots of surprises that come up you could discover something you could discover a new passion project um something that was left at the back corner for i don't know 12 years or even a year that you're rediscovering i feel like a lot of you are rediscovering yourself um it could come as a surprise or a shock to you guys um your partner could surprise you your kids could surprise you if you have them you could surprise yourself by dressing differently as well you could surprise yourself by um getting into this whole spiritual leaning because saturn's in your third you could be reading more there's loads of sh shocks but good shocks um i feel that if you are make if you are like planning things these plans could be thrown out and something new can come in um it could hinder you could feel it's hindering things but in the end it actually works out well so yeah this card is just saying try to be open to what comes this month um again some of the shocks that happen this month i feel some deep down some of you feel it but you're not sure to say it so you know when it does happen that's when you think oh but i i deep down i sort of knew um or it, it could be some people that come into your life as well so it is very exciting month, especially because jupiter is going to be there and yeah but also pace yourself because you know there could be so much going on that you feel that you can't even get time to yourself hello aquarius how are you and welcome to your may horoscope and tarot so a lot of this energy is in your fourth so we're coming home we are chilling with family we are getting our home prepared there could be moving happening there could be lots of changes happening and i'll tell you why because we have the full moon lunar eclipse in your 10th house so there's changes that's happening within your career whether you've initiated or your work's initiated it there could be promotions demotions the change in status there could also be you working for yourself which a lot of you really want to do there could be bosses moving they could be leaving they could be sacked they could be you know just moving to different department um even you know if you even like anyone that's a father figure there could be something that happens there too you have the new moon in taurus which is 28 degrees so if you're late degree Aquarius, you're going to be feeling this. So brand new time to be redecorating the home, visiting the home. Um, there could be, you could be discovering more about your roots, your heritage. Um, you could also be, you know, investing more in the home, spending more time with family. You've got Venus in Cancer, which is in your sixth house. Venus rules your fourth and it also rules your 11th so this is going to be a big big time when it comes to you know your your work and your health okay and again if any of you are some of you could actually fall in love with your job you could be taking it a bit easy some of you could decide that you want to work less hours again working for yourself working for your health as well you could be investing more in your health bear in mind um some of you could also decide that you want to go like the holistic route um some again some of you could meet someone at work too or you could be around people that can really help you in your you know any any endeavors that you want to do you've got mars in your seventh so this is about your relationships, business, personal, you know, contracts. So there could be drama there. There could be some niggles like um, the contract didn't come through because Mars rules your rules your 10th house and it also rules your third house. So you could be very mouthy. You could be mouthing off to the boss. <laughs> you could be mouthing off more to your partner. There could be clashes splatters you know things that we shouldn't say we end up saying because there's certain things that are bubbling but i feel that once things are laid out that's when things start to calm but you know we have to shake things up a lot um we have the jupiter in taurus in your fourth so again this is about your home and your family life i'll do a full video on that when we come to your card 
you have the seven of wands <clears throat> so again because it's such a um is the month that is about your home and family you know there could be definitely some power struggle this squares you so there could be definitely some power struggles that happen for a lot of you so you some of you may feel especially if you're a quiet Aquarius may feel that you have to really sort of like shout to be heard um especially if you want changes you could definitely feel there could be like a defense because the fourth house is cancer house so they could some of you could feel quite um emotionally defensive because if there's changes that are going to be happening you may resist that change um some of you also may find it hard in the beginning to stand up for what you believe in but in the end you will but um i feel this is the time to get things moving you know so even though some of us you some of you may resist the change this month it's about just getting on with it not um you know standing up for what you believe so whether it's through friends whether it's through your family whether it's through because if you wonder especially if you're one of those aquarians that are very laid back or agree with everyone your friends agree with your family that's all going to change now um i feel that your because polluters in your sign your your mind's eye is opening up now and you're seeing where your future lies so you're not going to be the same how you used to be so this card is sort of like reminiscence of it this card is also saying that you know, this is very much a fighting card so i feel that you're fighting for your individuality but you're also fighting for like your 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 home but you're also fighting for your family again mars being in your seventh there's going to be drama anyway so it's about getting stuff out there getting stuff done not being afraid yes there's gonna be a lot of battles along the way but it will be worth it in the end and um again even if you feel resistance you know you know what you want so just really go for it so yeah a very tight month for a lot of your aquarians and let's go to our last sign which is pisces so how are you pisces a lot of this energy is in your third house um you know it's been quite hectic sat in your sign a lot of second house action when it comes to money there could be money that came money that was lost um you know a, a lot has happened a lot has happened for a lot of you pisces but now it's in your third which you're going to really enjoy you have um the new moon in taurus which is in your third so if you're like 28 degrees pisces like last degree you're going to be really benefiting from this lots of gains could be made when it comes to like business contracts and money to be made um you know if you're gonna if you've got a blog or a podcast great time to be getting out there some of you could actually make money from it um you have the full moon in lunar eclipse and scorpio in your ninth so again you guys could be getting um you could be getting results from like a course you're doing you could also be doing a course, you could be releasing a book, you know, um, you could find out things about something from far away, you could want to be travelling. You have Venus in Cancer in your fifth, so Venus rules your third and it rules your eighth. So this is showing me that, again, this is a money thing that's happening. There could be money coming from a partner. It could also be money coming from a passion project, something that you've doing creative, especially because Saturn's in your sign. You could get a lot of invitations. It could be a lot of admirers coming your way as well, especially if you're single. Um, but also, there could be you could feel a bit more of a sexual side that's coming through for a lot of you, Pisces too. We've got Mars in your sixth house. So this is coming down to earth when we're taking care of our mental health, but also our physical health and our work life. So <clears throat> there could be some drama. Mars rules your second and it also rules your ninth. So this is showing that there could be some drama when it comes to, you know, your money situation, something to do with like the banks um there could also be some drama when it comes to um people from far away a course a mentor but also it could be some conflict 
not all a lot but there could be some conflict at work but i feel that some of you may be energized to like get fit get fit and healthy mars is in um signs in your sign a great time to be doing like the weightlifting, especially yoga lots and lots of yoga really helpful for you and we have jupiter in your third you know what can i say this is going to be benefiting you again pisces look back what happened 12 years ago and see how that was obviously saturn wasn't in your sign is in, is in libra in your eighth but yeah big time uh, when i do a full video on this you know i'll do a thing but jupiter rules your you and it also rules your 10th house so this is to do with like your career this is to do with like money making gains and whether it's i feel especially because of things that you're doing things that you are creating um it could be from work as well could be from friends so when we come to your card you've got the ace of pentacles okay and again this is a money i've talked about money a lot for some reason but <clears throat> This is a money house. This is also a business house. So this is showing me a lot of you are really getting down to business. You're taking business really seriously. Some of you may. Um, I feel that if any of you who are working in a job, some of you may transition to work for yourself because of the opportunities that could be coming. Um, they could be coming now or they could be coming next year especially because Jupiter's in your sign. I think next year, Jupiter is going to conjunct Uranus. So there's going to be lots of changes happening. But also the third house is to do with the mind. So you're going to be taking things a lot more seriously and you'll be taking your time. So if you've got contracts to sign or it's great to have like a lawyer to look over it. Um, if you're putting work out there on social media, you know, I could be doing wishful thinking here, but don't be surprised if like, I, I don't know, publishers or um, creative people, like, want to work with you. Um, yeah, don't be surprised if that happens, as long as you believe in it as well, Pisces. Again, this is a very highly manifesting month, like Virgo. So I feel like, again, the list and the opportunities definitely can be endless for you guys. Again, as long as you're consistent, remember Saturn in the first, you're consistent, you're doing little by little. Um, again, like I said, if you're working for yourself, but you're doing like a little side hustle, continue doing that side hustle. If you want to read books, if you want to learn like a new language or a new course, this is a great time to be doing it because this will help you in the long term as well. So a really great month for you, Pisces. So guys, that was the May 2023 and thank you guys who have listened to the whole video um you know guys i love doing these long videos with the monthlies and the moons um don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you for your comments and thank you for you know if you are liking and subscribing thank you so much and you know feel free to let me know how may has gone for you and i'll speak to you soon take care bye